are these DLC 5 teasers? Well, let's jump right into it and talk about it. I'll try to be neutral, although I'm a DLC 5 believer by heart. You can let me know if you are or not just right now in the comments below before we start. But uh, sit back and watch and let me know what you think by the end. I'll definitely intertwine various new topics, hence, and of course, DLC 5 teasers all together. Let me stress this DLC 5 teaser. So definitely stick around and let's get right into it. Hey, everybody, what the heck is going on? My name is Usman and today we're gonna be talking about a lot of new stuff that has been coming out and of course I tried my very best to cover everything possible that may or may not suggest DLC 5 in the past weeks or so but today we're gonna be discussing more because there is no way that these aren't DLC 5 teasers because from where they're coming and what it's saying and what it's showing us uh, it, it tells us that these are teasers for a new DLC specifically for Black Ops 3 zombies quote end quote DLC 5 now if you're new to the channel definitely do consider subscribing we do daily videos and live streams I try to be serious on these topics and videos but full-on meme on live streams so make sure to hit that subscribe button but first things first I want to cover this topic right here so I was sent this on Twitter a couple of days ago by Eden and this picture was really really intriguing and I asked what video these pictures are from and can you link me the video with a timestamp and he linked me to this video of Mr. Raffle Waffles him reading the issue 3 comments now, I personally haven't had the time to read it, but you can clearly see in these tweets they are holding Black Ops 3 guns. And I went on the video and got a different shot. And Misty, yeah, uh, first of all, I love Misty. Uh, I, I, God damn it. Uh, M Misty is holding the V-Wolf from Black Ops 3. It is intriguing, but however, this doesn't say much. It, and it could be anything. Maybe Black Ops 3 guns are there because Black Ops 3 is the new title, or this is a little teaser for DLC 5 maybe we're supposed to get a remaster map with transit crew it's still a possibility or maybe in next Treyarch game we'll see transit crew again but again it could be anything but nonetheless great find Eden and I cannot disregard this because we can clearly see transit crew holding black ops 3 guns uh, and I want to thank you for sending this my way if you guys do find something definitely send over on Twitter but again it is hard to say if it's DLC, if it's a DLC 5 teaser or not, I guess time will tell us for sure, but definitely is something to think about. And of course, we've been getting loading screens in comics, but that weighs much heavier because those are remaster loading screen of the actual loading screen, like Moon, Mob of the Dead, and they are not like sitting on a front page, they are sitting on the last page, and that's like a cryptic hint from Treyarch to us, especially the Ascension one with Gobblegums, their Eisendrak rockets. Now, I want to come back to this in a bit, but want to quickly cover some more little stuff now a couple of days ago we got a new 1.21 title update for black ops 3 and let me tell you it wasn't a little one surprisingly for some people the update was 16 gigs in file size when normally it should have been 1.3 gigs that's how much it was for me uh, but for some people it was 16 gigs call of duty zombies hq or cod zombies hq reported on this as uh, he got from some people sent the, the proof to him and in this title update we got some origin files uh, which is very interesting we got a new texture that is about gen station 6 and we do not have that in revelation we have gen 3 in revelation and looking at my calendar uh, revelation was released in September September November December uh, we're like five six months uh, why are we getting more I don't know and the station uh, is uh, the gen station 6 is uh, misspelled which is very interesting to why that is uh, cod zombies HQ kind of said like maybe they left in there because they know they wouldn't touch it and that makes total sense but again why would they do that if they don't want to touch that it's there and I really do not know why it's there with a misspell station after we got the final DLC because DLC 4 is supposed to be the final one but it seems like it's not going to be now coming back to Ascension uh, Glitching Queen is acting very weirdly as someone would say who is not exposed to DLC 5 but to the ones uh, that are like myself hey this is marketing on next level and it has been getting tons of people hype now just a backstory moon ascension mob of the dead and origins has been leaked to come out in black ops 3 with a brand new dlc that is called dlc 5 and so far there's a lot of proof and evidence that suggests this to be somewhat true i'm not gonna say 100 uh, percent if you're not aware of what proof there is well i covered basically everything in some of my past videos the the main ones are remaster loading screens from treyarch to us and ever since glitch 
Witch and Queen spoke about DLC5 in a video. Of course, she did after the Gaming Revolution made a video saying DLC5 is 100% coming. Glitch and Queen reached out to him and she agreed to his source because that source is genuine. That's what they are claiming. But TGR and Queen haven't spoke about DLC5 since. Uh, they are not saying it's coming anymore, nor they are saying it isn't. They are basically not acknowledging or denying it. it. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm sure they have been contacted by Activision to not speak on it because in situations like such, that sort of things happen all the time. But Glitching Queen is someone with more credibility and someone that has a bigger following than TGR. I have talked with him. He's a good guy. Uh, but I'm sure Activision is teaming up with Glitching Queen uh, because she has more credibility. And Glitching Queen has teased all the maps that I mentioned earlier by the end of her videos and also the maps that TGR Gaming Revolution mentioned as well. She first teased Mob of the Dead. It was a real life documentary. We got remaster loading screen from Treyarch to us as well. Then Origins still waiting for a remaster loading screen. I'm sure we're gonna get a remastered loading screen for Origins in the next comic. Uh, then she teased Moon linking everyone to real life Moon live stream which I covered in one of my previous. I asked her questions in that too and now finally finally she has teased ascension not sure if she will tease more i have a weird feeling that she will but in that ascension teaser we saw monkeys aka space monkeys that we do have in ascension and the rocket by the end uh, as we all know the rocket goes to moon and ascension and she shows the exact same thing in her video and it's a real life footage now if you guys remember the origins teasers back then it it had a real life kind of vibe and i feel the same way about this i get the same vibe uh from this as well not sure what you feel but that's how i feel personally and what's interesting is that in the ascension remaster loading screen treyarch have showed us their eyes on the rockets we can see trees and snow and the rockets do not spell out 115 anymore samantha is looking into the gobble gun machine man th this has to be dlc5 stuff there is no way or this is the biggest troll but if it's a troll then it's gonna hurt glitching queen a lot in terms of her credibility and no one's really gonna take glitching queen seriously and uh, I wouldn't mind if she was trolling but looking at my calendar it's March 20th by the time I'm making this video and she has basically teased all those uh, like <laughs> uh, those maps and whatnot again if it's a troll then it's gonna hurt glitching queen a lot in terms of her credibility and I do not think she would uh, risk that because she does report some credible stuff I'm a DLC 5 believer but I'm staying 99% low key I'm 100% le but let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below and while you're down there smash that like and subscribe button and I'll catch you guys very freaking soon peace out